given. Let us discuss this result. In this result, we have a matrix space XD, a subset of X and to prove that a bar is a closed set. Tell me when we say a set is closed, if complement of set is open, then we say set is closed or one more definition we have. In previous videos, we have proved few results. So with the help of that, we can say a set is closed if and only if it contains all its limit points. So we, are, we have to prove that a bar is closed set. That means it is enough to prove it contains all its limit points. Let me mention here that is to prove that that is to prove that a bar contains all its limit points okay all its limit points so let us consider one limit point of a bar let x belongs to capital x be any limit point of a bar getting so you are familiar with the definition of limit point so bxr minus singleton x intersection a is not equal to phi then we say it is a limit point but see one more way to define limit point what is meaning of limit point actually if a point is very close to that set then we say it is a limit point so with the help of epsilon we can define the same let us take epsilon first let epsilon greater than 0 be given okay so yes therefore we can say it is very close to x so, sorry close to a bar so therefore there exists some point y belongs to a bar such that d of x y is less than epsilon getting so point is very close to a bar that means it is possible to find one point of a bar such that distance between x and that point is less than epsilon less than epsilon that means okay approximately zero that means that point is very close to a bar okay same meaning it has so i'm going to do one adjustment instead of epsilon i will consider epsilon by two we will call it as one okay so let us go further. So here we have got one point Y belongs to A bar. So yes, we have, let me mention that thing. We have Y belongs to A bar. See, but in previous video, we have seen what is A bar? A union A dash. So that means Y belongs to A union. You know that we replace it by or Y belongs to A dash. So Y belongs to A or a dash that means derived set set of all limits points of a so y belongs to a bar so therefore we can say y is a limit point of a getting so it is a limit point of a it is denoted by a dash see the same concept we can use there so here also we have got one limit point of a and y belongs to a so therefore for above epsilon for above epsilon greater than zero there exists some z belongs to a since this time we have a limit point of A getting last time we had a limit point of A bar. So that's why we chose Y belongs to A bar. But now we have a limit point of A. So we should choose Z belongs to A such that let me complete it such that D of YZ is less than epsilon. So here also I'm going to do that adjustment instead of epsilon. I will write epsilon by two. This will be two. So by triangle inequality triangle inequality so we have three points x y z so let us apply triangle inequality so d of x z less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z right d of x y is less than epsilon by 2 we have got from 1 d of y z that is also less than epsilon by 2 we have got from 2 so let me mention from 1 and 2 so epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 epsilon so therefore d of xz less than epsilon this thing we have where that is a very important thing z belongs to a the second point belongs to a that means the first point is a limit point of a getting so it has a very simple meaning second point belongs to a so that's why the first point is limit point of a so let me mention that thing make a screenshot of it then we will go further so here I have clearly mentioned therefore x is a limit point of a. So symbolically we can write the same thing in this way x belongs to a dash since a dash means derived set set of all limit points of a. So x is in a, a dash that means it is in union also a union a dash since x is in a dash. So x belongs to a union a dash that is nothing but a bar so x belongs to a bar getting 
So actually x was in the arbitrary limit point of a bar and finally we proved it is in a bar. So therefore clearly we can mention therefore a bar is a bar contains all its limit points. So therefore a bar contains all its limit points. Okay, limit points. So if any set contains all its limit points, we can declare it is a closed set. So therefore a bar a contains all its limit points. So therefore we can write a bar is a closed set. Getting so in this way we prove this result. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.